Hi, this is Ryan, and I've got a tip for you today on Facebook trending topics. So if you've seen this on the side of Facebook over here, this this kind of trending topics box, it's, it's basically a giant box full of I don't care. Um, there's so much crap in here that is just the coolest stuff to happen today that I just don't care. I don't care at all. Don't want to have anything to do with it. It's just dumb. There's nothing in here of value for me. And I'm tired of seeing it. It takes up space on my page and I can't get rid of it because Facebook won't let you. I can click these things off. Like I don't particularly like football, so I don't really care about this. Or I don't care about actresses or people. Just don't, I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. So one thing you can do is you can use a little plugin called StyleBot. I've got it installed right here, but let's go check it out. If you go to the um, Chrome Web Store like that, you can type that in and then type in StyleBot like this. It will take you to the StyleBot page on the Chrome Web Store. Just click the first link. And here you go. So you'll get this right away, StyleBot. This is the one you want. It looks like this. And mine is added to Chrome because I've got it installed already, but you can always install it there if you want. And what this does is it takes things off of pages that you don't want to see. So if it's annoying you, um, here's how you take care of it. Uh, you click the little CSS icon up here. So once you're on the site, you want to be on first. Okay, so first step is go to Facebook.com or wherever you want to remove something off the pages you look at. And then click the CSS icon in the top right-hand corner over here. Click Open Style Bot. There we go. So you'll see the, the web address right here, facebook.com. And you can actually type in the selector of an element. So that's a code term for the, the type of code it is or what it's called on the page. But if you don't know how to do any of that, I suggest the easiest thing is to click this little Inspect button right here. So you can click this. And then it'll give you this green box that you can move around. Now, you probably want to try to get your mouse on this little line right here because that will let you select the entire trending box. You see how that's trending the whole thing there? So you click kind of right on this little line. When you click there, it will give you the actual name of that container right there so you can hide it. The problem is this is not always the same Facebook will change this as a security feature so nobody can hack their code. So what I suggest you do instead is click Edit CSS at the very bottom of StyleBot and get this window to open up and it'll actually tell you the address at the top so you know what you're editing. And then I would right click kind of in this green box here and click Inspect Element. This is on Chrome or Firefox. Safari also has the same option. Internet Explorer has a similar option. So Inspect Element. So now, if you look what that just popped up, it told us what we're actually hiding. So here's that, that thing we want to hide. It's called 5MYM right now. But what you want to do is maybe look to a div slightly above that right here. So that's just contained in here. And if you see right above this div, this is called ID page let trending tags and topics. Now that's something static. They're not going to change that ID in the near future, most likely. So I would click that and I would double click in the ID selection right here. So I just double clicked and then I would right click copy. And then what you do is go to the StyleBot editor right here and I would left click paste. And so you get that selector. Here's what you do. Because we're using an ID, you have to add a uh, hashtag symbol at the beginning like that. And then you want to add the squiggly brackets. So it's the one next to enter and next to P on most keyboards. And you want to do shift squiggly and then end the squiggly like that. And then you want to put the other squiggly on the next line down here. And that will give you a basic CSS block of code. What you want to do next is hide this thing. So we're going to set a property called display colon. And then we're going to put the word none and hit uh, semicolon just to finish it off. Now, I don't know if you just noticed what just happened here, but that entire thing right behind here on this side of the page here disappeared. So just the stuff below it is showing up now. We just hid that whole trending topics and tags thing or tags and topics, whatever. So if you click save, 
we've just hidden that particular div in a way that will not change because this will change as a security feature. It's the ID of pagelet trending tags and topics that won't change and that will hide it from Facebook's view. So if you close these things and reload the page, you will see that that trending topics and tags thing is gone and it won't bother you anymore. Now, if you want to get rid of recommended games, you can do the same thing. You just find the ID for this or the class name. So if you're in Stylebot and you want to hide something by class name, let's go here. So this with the hashtag is an ID. If you want to hide something by class name, you can do dot class name. So whatever the class name is, it will be whatever that is in the inspector. So let's say we want to hide games here. Let's see if we can find it. Okay, so that's just the header. So we want to go up the chain a little bit here. There, it would be right there. So that's not a good selector to use. Here we go, pagelet games. We want to go all the way up till we find a selector that looks good. Pagelet games, H, or RHC. That one doesn't have a class either. So we'll just use the ID again. But if you want to use a class, you can do dot class name. That's another tip for you. So we want to add a hashtag in front of this because hashtag means ID, then we want to add these two, the brackets again, and then we can actually cop, copy and paste from up here, and there you go. So our games are hidden, hit save, you know, suggested games. Your other game stuff will still show up, but that's suggested games because it's annoying, nobody cares. So if you reload the page again, you will see, I don't know what's going on there, but everything else is gone. Well, that's annoying, let's get rid of that too. I don't want to see that stuff. Jeez. Super annoying. Okay, so let's go to edit CSS again. Let's go right click on this dumb suggested pages thing that I just don't want to see. Uh, let's see. Pagelet footer. Is that what this is? No. So sometimes you have to drill down into the code. So if you look at right card call, that's the whole column which I don't really mind, but if you're just looking for this little piece of the column at the end here, let's click down into here and see if we can find that particular thing. Uh, page, pagelet ego pane. I have no idea what that means, but we're going to hide it nonetheless. Okay, so here we go. You can do hashtag first even, paste in the ID, get the brackets, and then we can also use our display none property there you go so if anything else comes up in there you want to actually want to see like one of your friends sends you a, a game request and you like those things you can leave that there but everything else will just be gone so uh, that's how you get rid of annoying Facebook content that won't leave you alone that's how you do it so uh, anyway if you have any questions if I can help you with anything else please let me know I would love to uh, do a video for you and uh, explain anything in the technology world or the code world for you if it will help you out. Please leave a like, please subscribe, or please comment on the video if you would like to. Uh, I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much.